What is up, YouTube? Dots Gaming here, and today I'm going to be making a viewer requested guide, and that was for me to go over my setup, all the programs I use, all of the hardware I use for streaming and just everything that I use when I'm as a content creator, you know, what do I use to stream? What do I use to record? What do I use to make videos and to record audio and, and all that jazz? What types of software do I use? And so I figured, you know what, that'd be a really cool video to make. It'd be actually be a nice, easy video to make too. And I think I'd have a good time with it. So we're going to be going over all that stuff today. So if you've ever been curious about what I use to make all of these videos and the streams and everything, then, uh, then yeah, we're going to be going over all that today because I am a one man band. I do all my own editing, all my own recording, all my own voiceovers. I maintain and run the website pretty much myself. Uh, thankfully I do have some members of the community that have stepped up and have helped out with the content on the website. We have a whole bunch of people writing builds for the website and helping me out with that. And I know uh, we have another community member who wrote the acronym dictionary for the website. So a huge shout out to the web team, helping me run the website and keeping it as content rich as it is. Um, but I'm going to show you guys all the various tools that I use to run Dots Gaming and make Dots Gaming work. So basically, we're up on the screen right now as I'm talking. I kind of just have a video of my whole setup area and what I see when I'm streaming and recording. And you guys can see what my setup looks like. So let me just talk a little bit about um, what I am running here. If you have, if you want any of what I'm, I'm using, um, I'm going to put links in the description below so that you guys can purchase all of the stuff that I use. If you guys like what I'm using and want to give it a run for yourself, I will have links to all that stuff in the description below. So if you do want to purchase any of the stuff that I'm using for yourself, I'd appreciate if you clicked one of those links in the description and went and uh, purchased it through that link. So in terms of my computer, you guys, I'm sure saw the computer, saw me changing all the colors with the mouse. We have the PC from Origin. I was super happy to get that. You guys completely helped fund that, as well as the three new monitors you guys see. It's just, the computer is so nice, and it it is it is just awesome. But I'll go over the specs with you guys. It is a standard orientation computer with the Origin PC black Millennium case with the tempered glass on the side. Uh, it has a black interior with the RGB. RGB lighting with the remote that has ultra silent case fans that are just origin PC uh, fans. We have an 850 watt EVGA supernova G3 power supply. Uh, we have all of our cables are all red sleeved cables to go with the whole black and red theme I got going on here. In terms of my motherboard, I have an MSI X470 gaming M7 AC. I have the origin frostbite 240 sealed liquid cooling system inside of my PC. In terms of my processor, I do have an AMD Ryzen 7 2700 X eight core 3.7 gigahertz but if you do tur turbo boost it it is going to be a 4.3 gigahertz processor um, i did go with the gc extreme cpu uh, thermal compounds just you know to help with any heat in the computer um, i am running an 11 gigabit gigabyte excuse me i'm running an 11 gigabyte nvidia geforce gtx 1080 ti graphics card on my computer the thing is a powerhouse it's awesome and i am running 32 gigs of origin pc ddr4 ram uh it's kingston ram it's uh 3000 megahertz um and it's a 216 gigabit uh things of ram uh we are running windows 10 home on our computer uh, and on Windows 10 is running on a dedicated solid state drive. I have it just on a little 120 gigabyte solid state drive. And then I have all my games on a 500 gigabyte Samsung 860 Evo. That is what I have all of my games on. And then for all of my storage, for all my videos and everything, because I don't want my video storage, like I literally just have a hard drive dedicated for video storage because that stuff takes up a lot of memory and I don't want it to basically clog my main hard drive where my operating system is or where my games are. So I have an additional, I have a third hard drive. It's a two terabyte Seagate three and a half inch Fire Cuda flash accelerated hard drive. Um, and then we just use the onboard audio. In terms of my peripherals, I am running two Acer gaming monitors, the XFA 240s. Those are the two monitors you see on the side. They are 1080p, 144 hertz. And then I am running one Dell gaming monitor, S2417DGYNY1D. There's a link in the description if you want to see it. But that is a 1440p, 144 hertz monitor with G-Sync. Now, I know some of you 
you might be wondering, you know, oh, Dots, why are you running 144 hertz monitors for your side monitors? I found out the hard way that if you use an NVIDIA graphics card and Windows 10, all of your monitors must be the same refresh rate. The issue that you run into if that is not the case is if you have, let's say, a 144 hertz monitor in the middle and two 60 hertz monitors on the side, what happens is that if you're playing a game on the 144 hertz monitor, for example, there's a moving picture on the 144 hertz G-Sync monitor, and you a moving picture like a stream or a video or an OBS preview or something on one of your side monitors starts to move it windows will clamp i don't know if it's windows or if it's nvidia but something in the computer will clamp your main monitor down to 60 hertz so your main monitor will look like it runs like garbage it will make your computer run like crap so if you do have an nvidia graphics card and you have moving pictures on one of your side monitors while you play on your main monitor and you have windows 10 you do need to have all three of your monitors at the same refresh rate so just a little heads up to you guys because i did learn that the hard way we do have a hyper x cloud 2 headset we run a corsair strafe keyboard with cherry mx silent switches i don't want you guys to hear all my obnoxious keyboard clicking while i am streaming so i do try to get silent switches uh, i do have a corsair scimitar mouse with a glorious extended gaming mouse pad i do run a blue yeti blackout edition mic i love this thing it's awesome and then as an accessory for the microphone, I run an Alphonics aluminum shock mount, an Alphonics pop filter, and an E-Tubby microphone suspension boom scissor arm, especially made for the Blue Yeti as I punch my mic on accident. We are running the Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam, one of the you know basic webcams that you run as a content creator. Um, I do have speakers on my computer in case I want to play something at the speakers and not at my headset. And for those, I use Logitech Z313 speaker system. Um, I have an E-Blue Cobra gaming chair. Uh, uh, it was just like a cheap version of a DX racer. Uh, it's not nearly as expensive, so I ran with that. And then we use I use a Safco foot cushion, actually, because the way that my desk kind of is, um, when I would sit in my gaming chair, the way my legs would kind of hang off my chair, it would actually put strain on my lower back because my feet would be like hanging really, uh, really low. And I would notice for long gaming sessions that would actually cause my back to hurt. So getting this foot cushion actually really, really helped with that. So if you want to pick up one of those bad boys, link will be in the description below. So that is basically all my hardware and all my peripherals. Um, so let me switch over to my software. And as you see here, I have my OBS up on the right here, which you can see my voice going through the mic. So I use OBS Studio. Um, I know Streamlabs OBS is a thing. I've tried it. I'm not as big of a fan as regular OBS. I, I prefer regular OBS myself. Um, I do use Audacity for a lot of my video, for a lot of my audio recordings. Um, I like to use OBS if I need to record my screen and I want to record audio. But if I just need to do a voiceover on top of a piece of video, I like to personally use Audacity. Uh, in terms of like image manipulation and Photoshop and stuff, I actually don't use Photoshop, I use GIMP. GIMP is literally a free version of Photoshop. It doesn't have all of the features that Photoshop has. It's like Photoshop Lite, but it does have, as a content creator, everything you need. It has, you can do so much with GIMP. It's a free program. It is great for making thumbnails, making pictures for my videos. So for that, I use GIMP. Um, and then in terms of my recording software, I personally use Adobe Premiere Elements 15. Uh, I cannot justify the price of like Sony Vegas, like what that costs, that costs like five, 600 bucks. Like I can't justify that price. It's too expensive uh, for an editing software in my opinion. Adobe Premiere Elements 15, costs $100. It can do so much and it's it's an extremely powerful editing software. I really, really like it. Um, I really do enjoy it. Like I said, it's only $100. It's really not too expensive. You can do a lot with it. I mean, there's still stuff in it that I haven't even done or figured out yet. And I still, I learn more about the software every day, but it's very intuitive to get started with. Really, really simple to kind of pick up and get used to using. Um, but that is my main form of uh, editing software. But that's pretty much it. That's kind of all the stuff I use to run my stream and make my stream work. I also do use the stream label software. Uh, stream labels basically syncs with Streamlabs and is what gives me all of like the labels like on my stream. So we're gonna have to see my face appear. So if you look at my stream here, 
Uh, let me full screen OBS. So if you kind of see, you know, you see real deal dials, uh, subscribed, Hamburglar donated, Nico has the top donation. So I use, um, I use stream labels basically that it will sync with my stream labs and basically output a piece of text here. I also do use uh, the stream deck. If any of you have an, an Elgato stream deck, uh, let me actually pull that up. Uh, if you If you bring up the stream deck here, I do run a stream deck. Um, basically, the stream deck is what allows me to do all the memes and like the meme board and everything. So, um, you know, like I'll click on one real quick. So like, don't be alone. So I can basically click on that. And this is like my soundboard. And if I go back, I can change my scene. So I have like soon, be right back. I have my actual Twitch scene. So this allows me to basically manage my stream really, really easily all from one board. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. And then obviously as my internet browser, I use Google Chrome like most people do. Um, and then also I wear gunner glasses. I find these extremely helpful for content creation and just being on the computer all the time. I work on a computer all day for my job. I come home and stream. So my eyes take a beating. So these really, really help with that. If you want to pick yourself up a pair of these link in the description below, but that's pretty much everything I run guys. Uh, that is all I run for like my whole streaming setup. That is basically all the software and all the tools I use. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, like I said, you can find links in the description below to pick it up for yourself. But like I said, I know people have, have wondered and have asked me, Dots, what do you use to run your stream and do your content creation? So that is pretty much everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video today. If you did, please smack a like on it. If you want to see some more great gaming content, I'd appreciate it if you hit that sub button as well as hit the bell to keep notifications on if you have any like i said if you have any questions or anything leave a comment below uh why i'm using certain things and not others feel free uh but yeah that's pretty much it for me today i hope you guys like this video i know something a little bit different but it was a requested video and i thought it'd be something cool to do so i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway thanks for stopping by guys really really appreciate it i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all in the next one